Several recent advances have occurred in the understanding of fluid balance in the gastrointestinal or GI tract. The opposing processes of fluid secretion and absorption are important, physiologically regulated, and, if disrupted, can lead to constipation or diarrhea. At its core, this balance depends on ionic gradients across the apical and basolateral membranes of the intestinal epithelium. The ions and molecules that affect water balance and pH are sodium, chloride, potassium, and bicarbonate. One important regulator of water secretion and ionic balance is the guanylate cyclase C receptor, also known as the GCC receptor. GCC receptors are located throughout the GI tract, and genetic alterations of the receptor have been shown to be associated with constipation or diarrhea. Activation of the GCC receptor leads to increased intracellular concentrations of cyclic guanosine monophosphate, or cyclic GMP. Elevated intracellular cyclic GMP activates cyclic GMP and cyclic AMP-dependent protein kinases, resulting in activation of cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator, or CFTR, which results in secretion of chloride into the intestinal lumen, activation of bicarbonate secretion by the chloride bicarbonate exchanger, inhibition of the sodium hydrogen exchanger, which results in reduced reabsorption of sodium. The net result of this cascade is water secretion into the lumen of the GI tract to regulate bowel function. In addition, GCC receptor activation may play a role to decrease inflammation and pain sensation in the GI tract. GCC receptors are activated by naturally occurring peptides such as uroguanulin and heat-stable E. coli-derived enterotoxin, or STA. STA and uroguanulin may produce different results based on their respective physiochemical properties. Heat-stable E. coli enterotoxin acts in a pH-independent manner. Uroguanulin is a naturally occurring peptide that works by binding to GCC receptors, is pH-dependent and more potent at slightly acidic pH levels. Therefore, its activity is primarily targeted to the proximal small intestine in a regulated manner. Uroguanulin physiologically regulates fluid balance, stool consistency, and thus bowel function. Dysregulation of fluid balance in the GI tract may contribute to the etiology of chronic idiopathic constipation and IBS-C.